Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Urgh.com! In this video, we're going to look at the pivot and unpivot operators that were introduced in Oracle 11G. This table will be used to test the pivot functionality. Each row represents the quantity of a specific product sold to a specific customer. We populate the table and look at the raw data. We can see this is row based data. We query the columns of interest from the test table and then use the pivot operator. It's probably easier to read this backwards. Using the in clause, we list each of the values we want to pivot and use an alias to specify the appropriate prefix for the column. Here we specify which column we're actually testing against, in this case the product code column. Here we specify the suffix for the names of the pivoted columns. And finally, how we derive the values for the pivoted columns, in this case the sum of the quantity column. From the output we can see our row based data is now represented as columns in a single row. To break this down by customer, we include the customer ID in the initial select. Prior to Oracle 11G, we could achieve a similar result using either the decode function or case expressions. Adding the XML keyword gives us a bit more flexibility. We can now replace the hard coded in clause with a subselect. Alternatively, we can use the wildcard any. Let's have a look at the unpivot operator now. This is going to turn column based data into row based data. In this table, the quantity for each product code is represented as a separate column with a single row per customer. We populate the table, then look at the raw data. We can see the quantities associated with each product code on a per customer basis. We have to specify the required columns for the unpivot operation. In this case, we want the actual value to be in a column called quantity. Each product is identified by an individual product code. The actual value of the product code is determined by the alias, or if there's no alias present, the column name. We can see our column based data has now been converted into rows, with an individual quantity column and product code column. The default action is to exclude nulls, but we can explicitly override this by using include nulls. Prior to Oracle 11G, we could achieve a similar result using either the decode function or case expressions. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.